How's it going everyone? My name is Brendan and today we're probably my very first video for most of you but I'm going to be showing you how to make a game on Python. Now first of all what you'll have to do you'll have to install Python. This one isn't using Pygame but Python is one we're using. I haven't got a video explaining how to install it but there's loads on YouTube. So just scroll through YouTube, find out I, how to install it, install it, and then you can follow this tutorial, or you could just watch on if you want to. So, when it's all installed, you want to open up the Python shell. Oh, just moved it, well done. And you want to do Control N to open up a new file. Oh, it's opened up on my second screen, let me drag that over if it wants to work. Where, where'd it go? It is right here. My mouse likes to double click when I see you. So here it is. You want to to begin with what I do, I save it. So I'll go into there and I'll do name it something like minesweeper two dot py because I've already made minesweeper, I'm just referencing it. So the dot py just shows that it's a Python file that you will use to something. I don't know. All I know is you have to type dot py. But what you want to do to begin with, I always like to type a hashtag, which means there's a comment. The, the game won't load that bit, so it won't print it, it won't do anything with it. It will just be there for the maker's enjoyment, I'd say. But as you just type Minesweeper, just so that you know that's the game you're making. And now we're going to be using the, we're going to have to import something. So you have to type in from random import rand int so that means that well later on in the game we're going to be using a random integer which is a random whole number so you'll see it when we get there but we need to do this at the very beginning of the game now if you can hear my laptop whirring it's because it is the loudest thing ever it's like nearly four years old but it's all good so what what you want to do next i say what I always do with most of my games is I do print. Now I'm using Python 3.6.1, so you have to do uh, the parentheses or brackets with the quotation marks. And then I just spam a bunch of backslash n, which goes onto a new line, because then it kind of clears the, um, what's it called? The console, the, the shell. And then once you've done that, you just close off the brackets. That'll be fine. So if we test it by pressing F5, ah, you see I haven't got enough returns because you can still see this bit here and that bit there. So you want to go back onto it. Hold on, why is my screen recorder thing going up? Go away. So then all you have to do is add a bunch more new lines. You don't have to do this, but I just prefer to do it so that it's a lot neater because if you've played through the game before, you can always get back, oh, why does that keep opening? You can always, it just clears everything, it just moves up and then you don't have to see the old things and it gets all horrible. So next, what you want to, we're gonna make a couple of variables. We're gonna make one called board, which is equal to an empty list, so just open and close square brackets. Now this game, if you've ever played Minesweeper before, then you'll know that if you click an empty square, every other empty square around it clears, this game doesn't do that. If I work on something like that, oh, excuse me, just burped. But if I work on something like that, I'll post another video to as I can edit to this. And you also want to make mines, which is equal to an empty list again. And then you want to have board underscore row, which is equal to zero. ADJ, which stands for adjacent, we'll get to that bit, is equal to zero. And then wrong, is also equal to zero. Now what you want to do next, you want to have a while loop, so it's while true with a colon, press enter, it will automatically indent this section to board underscore row equals int, which means integer, open bracket, input. I know some versions of Python use raw underscore input, but my one just uses input is fine then another open bracket with quotation marks and what you want to type in is how many rows and then I always put five min ten max so that 
um, they know don't not to go for 500 rows because that would just get messy. Then do a colon and a space and close off the quotes. Then do two close brackets to close off everything. Then hit enter. And we'll have to have an if statement. So we'll have if board underscore row is greater than 10. Then we'll do our colon and print with the brackets again. That is too big. Because if it's over 10, it's too big, it won't want to input it. Then you want to press enter, and then you'll have to press backspace so that it goes in line with the if. You do l if, which means that if the top one doesn't work, it will go to this one. So l if board underscore row is less than 5, colon, and then hit enter, print, that is too small. Because then they know not to go too small. Because if you have like a one by one area, it's going to be a, a bit pointless, isn't it? And then you want to else, colon, with enter, and break. Which breaks out of the loop. And then when you hit enter, you can just press backspace and it will all be fine. Because what it will do, it will keep going through that loop until you type in a number between 5 and 10. And then it will break out of the loop. In an, I say in an amazing fashion, but it won't be. It will just skip on to the next bit. Then you want to add another this bit saying if board underscore row is greater than or equal to. So you will do the arrow and then the equals greater than or equal to eight, and then colon and enter. Now this is where it gets interesting because we're using four loops now. So it'll be four i, which is our temporary variable, in range 15 and then you'll need the colon and press enter you want to have mines dot append which means that it will add this to the mines list that we added at the beginning you open bracket then an open square bracket that says rand int open bracket zero comma board underscore row minus one close bracket this is getting really confusing just copy it like word for word and it should work then comma space rand int open bracket zero comma board underscore row minus one then close off that bracket close off the square brackets close off the last brackets and you want to press enter and then you'll have to do two backspaces for this because you want it want it in line with the if statement again and this one will do elif board underscore row is greater than or equal to five and then we'll do exactly the same thing as before except it'll be four i in in range open bracket ten and then you do exactly the same thing for this one so you could just go through and oh, it doesn't want to select it copy this over to here and that's all good then I'll do two returns and make it in line with the if else statement we're not doing an else, an else bit we just have an if and elif but then what you want to do I always like to use i in my for loop so before i in range not if I can actually type it correctly in range bracket board underscore row colon enter board dot append open bracket and open square bracket you want to have quotes around this x and then you can close off the square bracket and do a space and do times which is an asterisk board underscore row and then close off the bracket. I just want to see how long this has been recording for. Don't worry, this will be edited it out. No, I mean, oh, that's all good. Okay. So next you want to do two returns and back in line with the first column. Because down here in the bottom right corner it says in this case line 31 column 0. But you want to have column 0 it would be fine. And you, we're going to define a function 
Uh, let me just adjust my microphone, it's fallen a bit. You might it might have gone a bit quiet, but you'll have to turn your volume up for that bit. So it'll be D E F, which means define, draw underscore board, open bracket, and then the argument that we'll have is board, colon and press enter, and then we'll have for i in board, colon and enter. We want to print open bracket end the quotation marks and then you want to do a space and close the quotation marks and then after that you want to do dot join open bracket i and then two close brackets and then we'll go back to column zero and we're going to define another function called check underscore a and s which is answer open and close bracket because there's no arguments but you still need the brackets and then we'll have an if statement if row is greater than or equal to board underscore row or col is greater than or equal to board underscore row colon remember that then print open bracket you know if I say print just do the brackets you should know this by now print that number is too high full stop and then the order goes zero two and close off the quote do a comma and then do board underscore row minus one now what that means is when you're calling what row or column you want to kind of find if there's a mine there or not then it goes from zero to say four instead of one to five so if they go too high what i found with this game it does kind of break if you go too high with one of them it does stop working it crashes you just have to like kind of like run the game again and then it will work as long as you don't go over the amount so that's just a warning and then where are we okay and then after that you want to do enter and then wrong is equal to one and then once you've done that you want to press enter and backspace because we're having an else as wrong is equal to zero now there may be a more efficient way to do things like this but i don't really care so now we want to define another function called adj underscore mines which means adjacent mines and then you do open bracket r comma c comma adj and then close off the brackets and do the colon and now this gets a bit confusing you want to set adj to zero and then you want to have if open square bracket r plus one comma c i said it because r represents row c represents column and then c close square brackets in mines yeah that came out right colon then adj plus equals one so what that means adj plus equals one is adj becomes adj plus one it's just a simplified bit and then what you want to do you want to go into the next bit we're not doing elif because we need to if because we're checking all of these because elif is only if the previous one failed because if r plus one comma c is is in mind it would do adj plus equals one and it will leave the rest out but we need it to check all of them and you'll see why in a sec so you'll have if r plus one comma c plus one close square brackets in mines you want to adj plus equals one and you want to do this for then it'll then the next one will be r c plus one then it'll be r minus one c plus one you i'm gonna cut from here to the next point and you can just pause the video and copy okay i'm back you can now just pause the video copy this down if you want because it makes sense to me it may not make sense to you but 
it will be fine. But then at the end you want to return ADJ. And then you want to to return and I'll scroll down. Oh, we can't scroll down yet. Okay. So then you want to draw underscore board because we're calling that function. You want to do board. So now it's going to draw out the board. You Throughout this whole tutorial, you can always test it if you want to. It will probably come up with some errors. Or you can follow the whole thing through and then go through the game. I'm going to do two more returns. And we're adding another while loop. So while true with a capital T. I can actually spell while. <laughs> you want to have row equals int for integer, open bracket, input open bracket again with the quotes row colon space and then close everything off and then you want to have exactly the same thing for col col equals int input but in this case column and then the next thing we want to check i can spell check check underscore ans open and close brackets because we're calling that function now to check if that's too high or not and then what we want to do press enter and then we're doing an if statement if wrong does not equal so it's exclamation mark equals sign so if it does not equal one do a colon we want to have another if statement if open square bracket row comma col in minds colon then break and then oh one well, if you press enter it will go straight in line with the if statement that we need so just press enter it'll be fine and then else colon with an enter board open square bracket row close square bracket open square bracket col close square bracket is equal to str which is string open bracket adj underscore mines open bracket row comma col comma zero two close brackets and then do enter do two returns and then do draw underscore board open bracket board close bracket so what that does is it adjusts the board to what it needs to and then do two returns and then do the backspace and print open bracket with quotes sorry but you have blown up. And then I like to do a little sad face. And then I believe, yes, that is the entire game done. So you can save that, hit F5, and then it clears everything. At the bottom left, it says, how many rows? I'll do five for now. So it prints out a five by five grid, and then you'll put in the coordinates you want. So let's say the top left corner, do zero, zero. As you can see, there's a one there now, so there is one mine adjacent to it, which is uh, uh, next to it, so up, down, left, right, or the corner. So I don't want to go near that yet. So let's try the bottom right corner. So that would be four, four. You have to remember that. So there's none adjacent, so you can do like three, four, four, three, and three, three, because you know that there's none around it. And then just play through the game. But if you hit a mine, so let's just try it and hit a mine. Two, two. There we go. I just hit a mine. Didn't know where it was. Just guess. And it says, sorry, you have blown up. And it ends the game. And that is how to make mine, a rough version of Minesweeper using Python. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's actually been pretty fun to make. My mouth is so dry. I need to go get a drink. And I hope to talk to you talk to you but talk to you in another video where i'll possibly be doing another python video so what so anyway thank you everybody thank you everybody so much for watching this video and goodbye